day four, uh, first week finishing up. It is January 28th, 2021, day four, TOFU group. Hey, good evening, Irene. Hi, good evening. How was your day? It was pretty good. Thank yeah. you. Good. Um, are you, are you working uh, at the school or from home? I forgot. From home. From home. Okay. Okay. Zoom with my students. That's right. You told me that. Um, for the fourth grade, it's a little bit more complicated from home, but at least you have the same students, if I remember, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 I remember them. That's great, that's great to hear that. So mm, tell me, what's what's your day like? Do you have uh, staff meetings or you only have your classes or, um, I don't know, what do you, I what's have, it like? I work from eight to 2 p.m. Okay. Yeah. The uh, morning we have classes from eight. We have two sessions of 40 minutes. Then we have a break and then two more sessions of 40. And then another break. Then one more session of 40. And then the, the break for lunch. That is one hour from 12 to one. And then we have one more session for 40 more minutes. So I, I, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. That's a lot of sessions you have. Mm -hmm. Yes, a lot because we are trying to keep the the normal schedule that we had when we were in the school. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Because we have a, a lot of materials and a lot of platforms to work with, so we need the the time to complete all the the materials we have with the students. And what happens? But what do you teach only English, or you teach all of the classes? All of the classes. Actually, in, in the school, only two of the subjects are in Spanish, only sociales and lenguaje. Science oh. and math are in English. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And what book are you using? For math, we are using My Math, it's from McGraw-Hill. Okay. For English, we are using a program that is called Be and Live, that is, I think, for Richmond, if I'm not wrong. And for science, we are using the one that is from Santillana. They have a, a program in English for science. And we are using two platforms. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're using a lot of different uh, editorials. Yes, because we, we try to, to have a different options according to the needs we have with the students. Okay. Because some of them are good in the Spanish subject, but not good enough in the in the other ones in English, so we, we try to, to change them. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I used to work uh, as a department head for a school, and we tried, it, it just, when when you have so many, it and you're right, it's better, you try to find the right needs, but it makes it more difficult for, for managing prices or for gifts or for other things that the distributors can give you. Uh -huh. because, because you buy, because you're not a big customer, you're, you only buy science, for example. It's not, uh -huh. the same. it's not the same if you buy math, science, language from one, from McGraw Hill, for example, that you mentioned, or from, uh, I don't know, Santillana or whatever, the different ones. But then they want to keep you happy because it's a big order. It's not just, oh, it's only 50 books. Ah, 
Mm -hmm. It's a little bit complicated too because you need to be on different meetings from all the editorials. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was thinking about that because when you work with many editorials, it you know people don't think about it because they're not teachers, but we know mm -hmm. that it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of trainings. You have to go for mm -hmm. each one, and when especially when you're not uh, when it's not a large school, um, they you have less support. I mean, I, I worked at I worked at a, at a, a fairly large school. We had uh, a little bit more than 800 students, and I was so we ordered a lot of books. But we mm -hmm. and just like your school, we had a lot of them. We had the subject social studies in English, science in English, math in English, uh, you know, language in English because they were in first grade. They were the same as you. They were from seven in the morning to I think it was about two o'clock or 2.30. So they had a lot of subjects in English and then a lot in Spanish. But just one thing that I realized when, when they had many editorials for the for the different, how complicated it gets. And even it's even it's just for the orders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are trying our best with that, that kind of situation. <laughs> what about online books? Have you transferred onto online books yet or digital books? Mm. No, we have we have uh, said to the parents to buy the, the physical book because it's, it's easier for, for the students because not all of them have the access to the different different platforms at the same time they are in the meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because most of them cannot open different tabs in the computer at the, at the same time, so it's, it's better if they have them on hand. Ah, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. That makes sense. Well, I'm glad you are here. There's a, we have a couple more. We have Rocio, Daniel, Irene, or Irene. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening Daniel. Thank you for I'm joining. Here. That's great, great. Thank you for joining us. I always feel like a radio talk man. Hey, hey thank you for joining us. Next on Tofu with Rocio, and then <laughs> something like this. All right. So yesterday we were taking a look at um, specifically reading. Um, we're still working on the topic of reading, which we should be finishing up today. And the idea was on the different sentence simplification questions. Now, the sentence simplification questions are where they give you a sentence or a statement, and you have to choose a sentence that is similar in meaning. So. They, they don't use the word synonym because it's not exactly the same. It has to maintain the same essence or the same ideas. So the best way to look at it or a couple of the techniques that you need to use are look for the main ideas. Don't worry about the details, right? First, focus on the main idea. What's the big thing that they're trying to tell you? So, uh, you know, in 1948, uh, uh, Martin Luther King gave a speech. Well, okay. So does it matter in what year? Is the year important? Because if in the sentence that they give you as options, there are no years, then it's not important, right? But in, in the sentence that says a speech, um, a, a, after 1948, the speech was given. Okay, then it's relevant, okay? But it, then if it doesn't say that, then it's not relevant. So you need to, sometimes you need to identify. And the best way is to look at it. Look at your answers, look at your choices. And from your choices, you have an idea of what information you should be looking for. And then just make sure that you have a clear understanding or try to put it into a logical order, okay? So today we're gonna continue with that. Um, we, I think, Maybe we should have maybe another, I think one more person or something um, before we get into that. Uh, just one more time. Are there any questions about the reading? Anything, any words that you say, oh, I forgot to ask, or I don't remember this vocabulary or the pronunciation of some of the words. No? No, right now, no. All right, that's what I like. Just like typical students, everybody's quiet, and then the exam. Hey, teacher, I didn't understand. Teacher, I don't like teacher. What I don't not. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like in the the in service in the workshop, right? And then when you when you have to go from the training from the office, and then they say, "Okay, go ahead," and you say, "Can you? What? 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 What do we have to do? <laughs> I don't remember." 
<laughs> it's okay, guys. Don't worry about it. The important, the great thing about reading is that really the information is there. It's not like in others where you have to remember it. The hardest part is having the amount of vocabulary that they're going to try to give and expose you to. It's a huge amount of vocabulary, huge amounts. And you have so much, you don't even know that so many words existed in English because <laughs> they just used so many different types. So remember the other for identifying words that you don't know is thinking about the roots. Remember we talked about it, the Latin roots, the Greek roots, try to remember that all of them are, they are similar to Spanish. We are lucky in that aspect, especially when you're learning that there are a lot of that are similar, but remember that always when there's a prefix or a suffix that changes the meaning. So remember those words like with re, on, ill, uh, oh, all of those help you when you don't know the word because you say, oh, this word means so-so, okay? Or this word means this, okay? So it, it's helped me and in, in, in personally it has helped me in many situations where I, you know, at a higher level where you have to have a lot of different words and you say, oh, I had a, a partner that says, oh, ecology uh, and he said man what the heck is that and I said oh it's, it has to be the study of, of, of eggs and he said how do you know I said because oh oh are eggs this is the Latin for eggs and he said oh my god and I said you know everything else is for the study biology sociology and I, it's just logical so if you use the same technique that okay this is the base word this is the prefix is going to help you um, I was waiting for a few more minutes to see if somebody else showed up, but nobody else is going to show up. So we're going to make two different groups. Okay. Just two, one group with two and the other with three. And when I said is we're going to, oh, I, in case you don't remember, let me show you the screen. Um, I almost forgot. Uh, some of you were unable to join us yesterday. And just in case, this is what we're working on. Okay. As you can see, we're working on sentence simplification questions. We're going to complete this one where we have several of them. You can see it's just, it's not, it's like a statement. There are six of them that you and your partners need to discuss and choose. And remember the techniques that we just talked about. And then after that, we have the insert questions. Okay. This is the one where we're going to read the passage. That's the paragraph. And as you can see, there are several paragraphs, there are four. And for each one, you have to choose where would you put something, okay? Uh, where would you put this information? Would you put it in letter A, letter B, letter C? Where do you think that bold, that means the bold is these uh, in dark black, okay? Where would this bold sentence go, okay? So we actually have quite a bit of reading. Um, it's not easy, it should, it'll probably take us the entire hour just to do those. Um, to discuss them and read them. But remember, you you want to try to avoid looking for things on Google. You want to try to start avoiding looking for things in the dictionary. Because in reality, when you go to your exam, you won't have those options. Now, because this is a class, obviously, if you and your partner say, no, 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 I don't know. We tried and we don't get it. Then look for it. That's That's also part of the class. But in reality, the most realistic to the exam that you're going to take is you won't have access to anything. It's only what you can do and what you can figure out by yourself. Okay, so I hope those those tips help you and, and you keep in mind when we do our groups and you are working with your partner. So we're going to finish up the reading those two exercises. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be going between the two groups. Okay. Okay, we should 
read the the what the number uh, number let me check if you want i can share the screen ah that's right good thank you okay do you see it it's coming it's coming it's coming yes Okay. okay, we can we can see. Okay, the instruction says which of the sentence below best expresses the essential information in the highlighted sentence. Incorrect choices change the meaning. It's important ways of leave out essential information. Let's read it and then let's select the the, the answer. If you want, read the first one, Daniel. Ah, okay. Um, let me extend. Fainting is caused by swimming. Fainting is caused by the by a sudden drop. Thank you. In the normal blood supply to the brain. Hmm. Okay, let's read the, the options. Irene, if you want, you can read the option. Okay, uh, the brain reacts to a drop in the normal blood supply by fainting. Fainting occurs when the brain suddenly loses, loses, or loses, loses its normal blood supply. Letter C. Fainting happens when the brain drops its normal blood supply. The, uh, the brain faints when the normal blood supply drops. I don't know. It's a lengua la traba. <laughs> I, I can say that I, I, I think that letter B and letter D are not options for me. You, okay. For me, the letter B too. Sorry, Irene. For me, the letter B, fighting occurs when the brain suddenly lost the normal blood supply. Okay. And what do you think, Daniel? I think it's letter C. B. C. Okay. C. Ah, letter C. C. C, C for C. C, letter C, fainting happens when the brain drop its normal blood supply. But I, I think, Daniel, that the brain doesn't drop the, the, the blood supply. I think. But let's, let's try with B, and if that is not correct, we can change it for C. That's okay. Good. <laughs> Next okay. one. Irene, can you read number two? Okay. Gorillas, which are better? If you want, we can read. Uh, we can read paragraph. For example, pragmatic, pragmatism. It's essentially an American school of thought that has had a few supporters elsewhere. You can read the second paragraph. Okay, one of the first pragmatists, William James, wrote that it was impossible to discover the real world outside, outside our sense, and therefore we must concern ourselves primarily with human experience. Because the world would be a worse place without a belief in human responsibility, morals and free will, it was necessary he considered to believe in this concept. Another pragmatist, John Dewey, held that since true is an instrument for solving problems, it must change as the problems in front 
in confront change. Mm -hmm. I think it's a. Uh, what do you say? What What do you say? Uh, uh, for why? you, why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, for you, why is the letter A? <laughs> because uh, it gives us the main concept. And then the rest of the paragraph is, is uh, an explanation of. Uh -huh. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, yes, uh, it's explaining in details. But the first one, the, the, the both sentences is the, I think, is the, um, the the summary okay uh, i think so sorry I but I, I tried to understand the exercise uh -huh. sorry sorry so we have the last sentence that in bold that mm -hmm. is like a like a, a phrase right or mm -hmm. a opinion or idea yeah. so in the letter a b c or d are a, a summary of that idea or a summary no. that describe the best oh, oh. idea where where this let me, uh, yeah, yes let me, yes mm -hmm. let, let me let me help you okay mm -hmm. so what happens is that the the paragraph a b uh -huh. c and d is one paragraph with the with all of the same topic and the words that are in bold the words that are in black is a sentence that is missing from the paragraph and you need to identify where in the paragraph is the best position for the writing style to put that paragraph or to put that mm -hmm. sentence. So it's not that they are different. It's not they are different. It's the same topic, but according to what you are reading, where would be the best place to locate this to have fluency in the writing or in the okay. reading? Mm -hmm. ah, okay, I understand you. Thank okay. you, thank you, Edwin. You're yes. welcome, you're welcome. Okay. For me, I think is letter A and letter C. Letter A and C. Mm. I think for me, letter letter A doesn't make sense. I think it is letter C. C for cat. And you, Irene. What do you think? I'm not sure, Irene. Okay. TikTok. So you, you no, said? TikTok. In, in my case, uh -huh. is letter C, letter C, A or C. We A should or C. C. Yes, because we have that TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Mm -hmm. Shall as a crew dig a forest fire, but they don't dig a, a forest fire. They the letter dig C. A fire line. Okay, the letter C. Say. Yes. Let's try with the letter. Okay, mm -hmm. I read. Do you want to read the number four? Okay. Medical quackery, which promise. Course for all ex ex existing and even, I don't know, non existing. This disease has a powerful appeal even to the well educated. Thank you. Do you know what is the meaning of uh, quick, quickery? Medical quickery. Medical query promised the medical query. Medical Maybe it's something like alternative or I don't know. But let's maybe let what? try to something like not exactly doctors, but maybe they offer to, to cure you or to, to heal you. I don't know. Something alternative. I, I don't know. Ah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Letter A says, well-educated people in medicine promise to find powerful cures for diseases. 
B, Erenia. even well uh, in, the, in the traductor, medical quackery is like a, a false medical. Oh, mm. uh -huh. a possibility okay. medical, but it's not true. Okay, thank you. Okay, the letter B says, even well-educated people are attracted to fake cures for diseases that may or may not exist. Letter C, medical quickery promises the well-educated a cure for diseases. And letter D, the medical profession has appealed to the well-educated for find fu funding to find cures for diseases. Um, <coughs> I think it's letter, letter B. Letter B too, yes. Do I win? Could be any. <laughs> For me, the letter C. <laughs> Medical history promises the well-educated a cure for diseases. Um, okay. Okay, let's let's try with, with the one that Irene said. And let's move to the number okay, five. Okay. The number five. Who wants to read the number five? May I? I'm going. A silver campan has been found to kill the parasitic protos, protos, pro, protosol that are carried by the dread, dread, let's say. <laughs> Fly in the cause is sleeping sickness. My God, a silver compound mm. to kill the okay, parasite. Also, the dark by the dread. dread. Let's, see. Let's, let's see the the options. The first one says the driven. I don't know how to say this. The dreaded, the dreaded, 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 dreaded. Mm -hmm. dreaded. dreaded. The other one that is next to dreaded. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dreaded septify causes sleeping sickness and kills the parasites. Protosons. Protosons. Use. Use for finding silver compounds. Letter. A little bit, Rosario. <laughs> Please explain. Uh, I think it's C. In 19. Because there are D describing about the, the work, about the, the artist, right? Yeah. Well, it's difficult. Yes, it's difficult. The eight. <laughs> Mm. I think it's D because I don't know. But if the name is the eight, the nineteen eight, <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. We can continue. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What? Hmm? If you wanted to read this one. Yes, please. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. number three. Mm -hmm. Seek a disperse of the new cities by various means. Many, such as the, the online of Facebook Six, 
have a fine soft allo to them uh, is carried by the action of the wind. Some seek, such as the coconut and flow, and are dispersed by current around the island on the Pacific Ocean. Other seeds have to involve way to get in around through the activities on an intermediary animal. This can happen in a number of different ways. For example, animal men they were the fruit containing six. Sometimes a six need to be buried before it can be germinated. This might happen when a uh, hoarding animal such as a squirt seal to return for this hide meal. Some six have to sticky or spinky success often called burned, which many catch on the coat on the passing animal on the later drop at a considerable distance for their origin. In fact, uh, six may require passage through the gut to the beer or animal before it can germinate. germinate. Mm -hmm. There are many words. That yeah, are... very no. difficult words. <laughs> uh, the, the vocabulary is so, so difficult. It's very tough. Biology. Bio <laughs> yes. I don't know if do you understand dandelion or um, distal. Do you no. do you know that that meaning? Dandelion no. is like a, a kind of seed, seed, seed. A seed. A kind of plant. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's the yellow plant, the yellow, the little yellow flower. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is another one? Fine tuft. Okay, let's let's redo the number two. In the number two, I I said that <laughs> I said only oh, yes. I, I yes. associate with with the wish and only. <laughs> ah, you said only, uh huh. Do you remember? <laughs> Either letter A. A. I think. Gorillas wish on uh, the vegetarian. Je yes, I think a letter A. Okay, but here in the letter A, is saying that the, the gentle behavior was toward gorillas. And in the, in the information we have, the gorillas were the ones who were demonstrating the gentle behavior. Uh -huh. uh, let me see. The small creature in the wind. Maybe letter D, the last one. Letter D. Has been observed it, it in the wild of the gorillas by nature vegetarian. That is me. Yes, I agree with you. I agree with Daniel. Letter D. Okay, I'm going to change it. Letter D. Yes, we have four options. <laughs> the, we got the number three correct. The number, hey. four, <laughs> the number four, the medical uh -oh. quickly, which promises cures for all existing and even non-existent diseases. How a powerful appeal even to the well-educated. For me, is the letter B, but I don't know what you think. Uh, for me, is the letter D. The medical, the medical profession, profession has a has a period to the well educator for the for funding to find cures for diseases. Okay. Okay, I'm going to to I to I try. <laughs> and the number five, that is the other one we have wrong. It says a silver compound has been found to kill the parasitic protozoa that are carried by a dread sepsy. I it's difficult for me to pronounce this word. <laughs> Fly and that causes sleeping sickness. 
D. I think letter D. What do you think? D. The last one. Last one. Yes, D. And you, Cecilia, what do you think of this one? Uh, I think it's a uh, letter D. 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 Okay. okay. I'm going to submit it again. Okay. And now we have uh, 20 out of 25. Five. Okay. The number four. The number four what is, is the four. We okay. already tried it. A is letter uh, A. <laughs> well educated people in medicine promise to promise to know. Because in the in the information is not the well educated people who is promising to find powerful cures for diseases. Ah, okay. The let the you are the reason. Um maybe letter B B B is the letter is ma, is bad. The no letter C was the, the wrong. Ah, letter C is wrong. Ah, okay. B, I think even, educator. even well, even well educated, people are attracted to fake cures cure. or diseases that may or may not exist. Okay, let's try with the letter B. Oh, I, 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 I'm not sure. <laughs> ah. I don't like it. Okay, we got it. <laughs> there you go. That is teamwork. Only took a little bit of time. Only, like I said, it's not going to be easy, but that, that is, that's the idea, right? The idea is not to be easy. The idea is to be challenging, to be a little yeah. difficult. All right, now you have one more task to do. <laughs> the, the next one. It's a big okay, challenge. Yeah, 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 it is. These romantic souvenirs of a bygone, maybe bygone age. Mm -hmm. And the and the last one is the dodge is part, in particular. Can you pull up the screen? Mm -hmm. it, it's difficult. It's, it's the last one. Mm -hmm. Okay. The dodge mm -hmm. in particular may consider it or consider considerable considerable improve. improvements used with men to form water as well as to produce flow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's about wind. Wind news and flow. Flow. Maybe a little D. Can you can you do can you make it bigger than the screen, Berito? Mm -hmm. What is the the new word for for women? Many, but specifically is women. When you uh, uh, is is something like molino and wind. Mm, or the wind. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. The need to using wind power, wind power to green green. Mm -hmm. It'll be literary. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See. Oh, 
or the letter B, maybe. maybe. What about okay. you, Betty? Mm, I'm, I'm reading again. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, the meal is supposed to be clean. Oh, this. Oh, Yeah, little C or little D. I don't know. Because if we if we put in little C, the Dutch in particular made considerable improvements and used windmills to pump water, wine mills to pump water as well as a as to produce flour. They continue in England. The device become a ubiquitous or I don't know the that word. Future of the landscape. Omnipresent. Está presente en todas partes. But oh. how, how can I pronounce that word in English? Obicutius. Obicutius. <laughs> yeah, okay. Obicutius. Obicutius. Ah. Obicutius. Okay. Obicutius. Yes, that's right. O. It's like even though it's a U, you, you, you say with O. Obicutius. 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 Okay. Free to the land skin and by the 14,000, no, 1400, we there we 10,000 white mills concentrate in the southeast part of the. Uh -huh, I think, see. Yeah, because we be put D. The little D, they continues to with another idea. By the my, by the my twentieth okay. century, few working mice remind uh, reminded us. But in recent years, keep forward. Yeah, I think little C. Team Marine de Pingüe, who got a matter of little C. I am I am between in B and C. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, because in, if we if we put little c, we start to to talking about the Dutch and then continue about talking about the another England. country, another country. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And if we you put d, is like the positive. We start to, oh. to thinking about the the England and the wine. Uh, well, the we wine can... mills of England, and then we continue with the Dutch, and then. We finished mm -hmm. by the mid mid twentieth century. Aha! Uh -huh. So for me, you they have a. It's the same, or, or they have a, a the like the, the same idea, little C or little D. Mm -hmm. Yes, because at the beginning is, it's telling us about regions of Europe. Um, if you put B, you don't know the, uh, the, the, where, where are the regions of you. And then if you choose C, you, you begin to, to talk about the region of Europe. I don't know. I think C. Well, we can check if you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, we have a bad one. The first one is wrong. Uh -huh. oh. With the help of all of you, please help us. Fragments. 
pragmatic skill. Mm hmm. Only little, only number one. We have a mistake, right? Yeah. Hmm. So we have nine. So we passed off all this. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what is the correct answer for mm -hmm. Pragmatism is essential an American school of thought that has a had few supporters itself. Pragmatists believe that the test on belief should be in practical consequences and that the truth of a proposition should, a proposition should be judged on how well it corresponds with experimental results. One of the first pragmatists, William Gaines, uh, maybe letter B? B, yeah. Yeah, we agree with you. What do you see? A dream? Okay. I agree in letter B because uh, it's, it could be the main idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. For me, the letter B. <laughs> Sí. Uh, maybe. Uh, Have many words about the, the main, main topic. Yes. We can explain the primary silly that the test. We can check with level B, and then if we have the incorrect answer, we can check level C. And then level B. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so you see. But we can see. Because it's explaining, explaining the, the paragraph. Mm -hmm. One of the first ones. Well, the one we're going to explore. Okay, yes. okay. <laughs> Let's try to unscramble this. It says, the artists who came to be called the eight in where letter David, the Ashkan School, Use vigorous brush stroke and dramatic lighting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I see. In the, in the bold letters, they are just saying that, like the technique they have, they use vigorous brush strokes and dramatic lining. So let's try to find that idea in one of the options that we have. Mm -hmm. No, a letter D, Erenia. I think. Let me see. I guess it's letter D. I think letter C. <laughs> letter C, because the world would be a worse place without belief in human responsibility, morals, and free will. It was necessary. He considered to believe in the, these concepts. I, I think letter C, because in the letter C, it mentioned a group of artists. And what I can see is that the group of artists was again the, the normal or the... Normal. 
Uh -huh, the common practices. The common practices, so, yes. Yes, could be too. <laughs> you, Cecilia, what do you think? No, I, I think it's easy. Yes. No, but. Yeah. I think no. Cecilia, I think she has problems with the microphone because I haven't heard her speak. We, we have we have uh, her her but right now I don't know what what happened <laughs> mm -hmm. okay which one you said Daniel uh, we should let her see Is there okay, one? let's try with it. yes okay to the third one <clears throat> do you want to read this one thank you see this are dispersed to new site by various means. Many, such as dandelion or textile seed, have fine tuft that allow them to be scattered by the action of the wind. Some seeds, such as the coconut, can float and they are dispersed by currents around the island of the Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Other seeds have involved ways of getting around through the activities of an intermediary animal. Qué larga está esa. Letter B. This can happen in a number of different ways. For example, animals may devour the fruit containing seeds. Letter C. Sometimes a seed needs to be buried before it can germinate. This might happen when a hoarding animal, such as a squirrel, 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 fails to return for its hiding meal. Mm. Better D, some seeds have a sticky or a sticky surface, often called burns, which may catch on the coat of a passing animal. Di la, 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 la hojita y se me... Ahí está. Spice surface of the cold burns. Ah, no es, no es burns, ¿verdad? Es que era de quemado, burns. No, burros, burros. Which may catch on the cut of a passing animal and later drop off at a considerable, considerable distance from their origin. In fact, a seed may require passage through the gut of the bird or animal before it can germinate. <laughs> okay, let's see. The, the idea that we need to fit is in fact, a seed may require passage through the gut of the bird or animal before it can germinate. So, Maybe letter, letter B. Letter B. Because the, the idea is that some seeds need to be swallowed by the, the animals or the birds before they germinate. And in the letter B, 
says this can happen in a number of different ways. For example, animals make the the migration stop and the colony metamorphosis into a fungus like organ organi organins in a process known as columination. The front cells stalk in a tall stalk and the back cells clean up the stalk and form a spherical shape shape head known as the sorocarp. <laughs> this final feeding body is about two millimeters in eight. The head developed into a spore which are dispersed into the environment and and form the next generation of a amoebae cell. Then the life circle is repeated. Usually the star disappears once the spores have been realized. Wow. It's really, it's really hard. Yeah. I think it's, this vocabulary is for, is for people who is a, uh, uh, laborers, clinic laborers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, or uh, people who study chemistry or something like that. Yes. Biology. Biology. Too. Biology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <sighs> okay. We maybe. Maybe. Okay, guys, welcome back. Oof. Now you feel like, kind of like when you go to the gym and you are tired. Now you feel, oh my God, his, my brain is going to explode. <laughs> yes, yes. And that's why I, I, the first day we mentioned that in this level, this course is difficult. It's not easy. It's, you yeah. have, you yeah, have to work. Know. Yes, you have, it's not like, oh, I only go to the class and eh, no problem. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> it's necessary to focus. It's necessary to, to it, the, your partner's help because between the two, you can discuss and you, you have that, I think is this. No, I think is that. No, maybe is this. Let's look for the meaning. But imagine for the people that do alone and they don't come to the class, hmm, they are going to suffer, suffer. So um, as you can see, yes, it, it is quite a bit of, of difficult reading. I know some of you uh, were, oh, well, not some of you, all of you were unable to finish, like I said, only two activities, but it was unable to finish all of them. Um, so you do need to work on it over the weekend because remember uh, next week we begin the part two, uh, we go on to the next lesson. So it is necessary for you to keep advancing and keep the platform up to date. As you can see, the platform is not easy. So if you wait and you accumulate, <gasps> believe me, believe me, later is going to be really hard, really mm -hmm. hard. So uh, what, you, what you are missing, try to finish this weekend for uh, section one or, or unit one. And then that way on Monday, we begin section two and you feel a little bit more comfortable. Okay? Okay. Because remember, you also have exams. So you need to leave space for to do your exams also. All right. All right, guys, have a good weekend. You know, take Thank it you. easy. Take it easy. And I see you on Monday. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.